Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video I wanted to take a look at this really awesome new game that came out in August of 2015 called In Cell. This is a game that is a mixture of education and fun. Um, as you can see I finished half of it already. I'm going to try this on hard and I'm going to show you how this works. Essentially this is a cell simulator where your job is to... Uh, there you go. Thank you for explaining this, robotic lady. And uh, what this is, is, it's a combination of biology and arcade games. So here you can learn all about different organelles, like for example ribosomes, lysosomes, um, Golgi apparatus, and so on and so forth, as you progress through the game and as you play this. And basically, your job is, uh, as a kind of a nano machine, is to protect the cell from a virus. So I'm going to show you how this works. It's a very, very simple game, and it's only like $5 on Steam right now. And actually, it was much cheaper when it was on sale. And uh, your job is to protect the, every organelle from the virus um, and get bonuses as you progress through the game. So it's a very, very simple kind of an arcade and here we go, this is how it works. So basically this is a very simple on the rail type of a game where you move around collecting these white proteins that basically are kind of like money. And uh, these green thingies that increase your velocity. But also you have to collect these other balls that basically help you um, get rid of different obstacles around you. Um, this game does get progressively more difficult as you... Uh, move through it and eventually you'll actually be required to uh, use amazing. oh there we go uh, you'll have to use some other stuff here as well oh i missed one next time i'm sorry robotic lady uh but so yes it's a combination of kind of a fun arcade game with education and here specifically it teaches you all about the cells organelles now this is an um what i really like about this it actually represents this ah represents the cell very accurately you can use uh, oculus rift or any other 3d device with this to actually look around you right now i can't really do it with my mouse but oh actually yes i can yes i can here we go uh you can move around with your mouse or your oh, okay, oculus exactly. rift Oh, what? Virus is advancing. No, help me. Uh, so you can actually look around and see what the cell looks like. Um, and what's really awesome is that it's really accurate in terms of size, in terms of what uh, each of the organelles represents, and so on and so forth. Uh, like, for example, here you can uh, kind of see that we're moving across uh, the um, microtubules. Uh, we have these other microtubules over there. We're going to be approaching one of the... Uh, organelles which is somewhere in the distance i don't really know which one it is uh, i think it's a lysosome and then it actually tells you what the lysosomes do how they affect the cell and why they're important uh, so i think for a biology class um, where you want to, your students to kind of learn about all these organelles and all of these different cell segments differently or even show them show them visually like you can actually see the cell wall you can see the viruses you can see the viruses advancing right now um basically here we go it's over it's a ribosome you can actually teach your students uh all of this stuff very um very well by using this hands-on sort of a, uh technique so uh this game works in levels so you progress through levels trying to defeat the virus um and you do have a time limit here so at some point the virus will actually overtake you and will um defeat or destroy the cell so meaning that you'll lose the game uh but here if you complete a level you get a choice between uh, getting some protein, for example, or getting, uh, or getting some more, uh, more time. So let's actually keep going. Uh, we're gonna try to get. I think I need more time, so I'm gonna go for lysosome. But here I also want to get to uh, next cell, which I is gonna go. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go left. So there's a choice here. Let's uh, try to get through this lysosome. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to play a little bit more accurately. So as you can see, as we get mo move closer to the cell, you'll see more and more organelles. Um, and if you are using this in class, you can actually pause this game and use uh, this opportunity to try to explain what each of these organelles is, how they affect the cell, and uh, I mean, this is a really excellent way of simulating the inside of the cell um, and what each of the organelles does as well. Um, also, since you are actually playing as a kind of a nano machine of the future to try to protect the cell, you can also talk about the future technology of the future because in the future, uh, we may even have these so called. Uh, nano machines fixing ourselves for us. Oh no, that was my protein. Give me my protein, I need it. Here we go. Uh no, I'm gonna miss it. Avoid the obstacles next time. Uh oh. The wave comes closer. Uh oh. That's not good. I need to take this. 
and I need to take this as well. All right, so virus is on me now, and I need to try to avoid it as, as well as I can. Um, let's see if I can actually beat the virus. Oh, it's very likely that it's going to catch up to me at some point. Because I only have about 13 seconds left. And you see the large virus molecule right there. Or uh, protein, I guess you would call it. Uh, approaching from the back. Now, uh, this game is really, really simple in its approach. And it doesn't really teach you a lot more than uh, teaching you about... Oh, no, I needed that. Teaching you about uh, cell organelles and uh, cell structure. Uh, but I think... Oh, thank you, lady. Uh, but I think just for this type of... Um, um, topic just for this type of theme this is probably one of the best ways of teaching students and people about cell structure oh i think i won this yay i won this uh so once we win this you get points and then you acquire some protein and some time bonus i think i think i get 10 more seconds uh so now i can actually trade some of my acquired points for here we go come on show me show me the points here we go. So I can easy, either get a second bonus or I can get um, uh, some Shoot other bonuses here. Human. And essentially this is how the game works. And uh, you are this machine where you're sitting right now trying to uh, defeat the virus or trying to outrun the virus in a sense uh, by healing or by curing or, and protecting these uh, different organelles. This is an unknown organelle, I actually don't know what this is. So you can learn more about organelles by uh, reaching them. And of course, all of these organelles are really well represented, especially in the most difficult part of the game, where you'll have a lot of choices and you'll have to cure as many organelles as you can. But let's actually discover what this is, because I don't know what this one is. So let's try to finish this. And apparently this is a mitochondrion. So now when we actually exit this part, we'll get to learn what mit mitochondrions do and what they're all about. Uh, so I think I just have to click on click on mitochondrion is a standard organelle it provides energy to all other organelles here we can process our protein to increase our movement speed and there you go so the lady just taught us what a mitochondrion was uh once we actually unlocked it so once you progress through this game uh, and unlock all of the organelles you'll get to learn what they do and apply uh your knowledge by basically uh, selling this protein to get either more speed or uh, less slowdowns and so on. So this is how this game works in natural. It's a very beautiful game. It has really nice music It also has a really interesting sort of a gameplay Even though it's very simple it does get progressively more difficult especially in the hardest difficulty, but most importantly it actually does teach you um, In a very kind of a hands-on approach not only what the cell looks like on the inside but what each of the organelles do and how uh, They affect each cell and how the viruses actually can destroy these organelles and basically what viruses do when they're inside the cell. Anyway, this is it for uh, for this game. This is called In Cell. I'm posting the link for this game in the description below. And uh, I definitely think this is probably one of the better ways of teaching people and your students about uh, cell biology. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Check out some of the other educational games I've reviewed. And game you later. Bye-bye.